that, this is a great time for me to tell you um, some of the other candidates who are participating in today's um, debate. So uh, participating in today, also running for mayor is Madame Siri The attention of the president of the court. That's see, see me anymore. But to everybody who's tuned in, thank you so much for supporting this space. Thank you for helping us to enhance the space for with the inaugural edition held in January. Is the about desire of the organizers of this event, CRI Magazine and Ilraj, alongside their partners, to continue with this culture and make it a permanent feature in the governance system of Sierra Leone. Holding debates is good for many reasons. Most significantly, I believe, it is an alternative to violence. It is the closest you can have to the rule of law, in which case you go before the courts. And even before a judge, the lawyers argue for the attention of the president of the court. That is a debate of sorts. But unlike the courts, the CRI debate does not give a verdict or a ruling. We leave that up to our audience, be they live or virtual. Holding debates for people running for public office is even more significant, not least because it engenders scrutiny, accountability, by the people of those who they want to entrust their future with. A former president of Kosovo, Antifet Jajaga, said, and I quote, when there is information, there is enlightenment. When there is a debate, there are solutions. When there is no accountability, there is abuse, corruption, subjugation, and indignation, unquote. And we all know that indignation has the proclivity to breed violence. So much for anyone. I'm schooled here. Went to the I will ask follow-up questions. Part four will entertain questions from the live audience here and will last for 25 minutes, including answers. Part five will take questions we have received electronically and will last for 15 minutes. Candidates are free to challenge themselves on issues raised by one of them, any one of them in fact, and the candidate challenged will have time to respond. Any candidate against whom an allegation is made will be given one minute to respond. So I move to the first part of the questions. And I will set the ball rolling by asking each of the candidates to tell us about themselves in one minute. I will start with Madam Siri. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Siri Kaba, born and raised in the magazine community, Dovecourt to be precise, attend the Dovecourt North School, St. John's Primary and Methodist Dalsing School, and then later relocated to the United States of Thank you. Thank you very much. Kasim? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kasim Ponte. Born and raised at East Brooklyn, around South Street. Attended the. Um, later, went to Konodi um, Street, attended the Roman Catholic Primary School, up to now, the government secondary school for boys in Mavoka. Later, went to the Yala University College. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lilian Kamara. Born in Kenima District. Attended the HRSS secondary school. Later, stay in Freetown. I'm a case guy. Thank you. 
Um, good evening again, Yvonne Eki Sawyer. Um, I was also born in Freetown at PCMH Hospital. I um, schooled here, went to university here, and then went where I got a degree in economics, um, master's in international relations, and a chartered accountant who's been passionate about Sierra Leone all my life. So I campaigned against the trade of blood diamonds. I went on to start SLWT, which has worked with children for two decades now. Um, during the Ebola outbreak, I decided to come and volunteer to be a part of that response, which led to me running the post-Ebola recovery program. And that's where my passion and belief that I could make a difference in the city, principally because of sanitation concerns, and then because of environment, and also because of environmental concerns, led me to run for office in 2018. I have served as the mayor of the city from 2018 to February of this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, um, Masuri, I want you to tell me why somebody who vote for you, what's in the platform, what do you stand on? What are your reasons for running for mayor office? Reasons for where I belong for mayor office are one, in a born and raised in a dog spot. Former women who dog spot person at the most filthiest community in the city of Freetown. And so, I'm born, the only mayor where I've done at my Akibo Bed since after Akibo Bed in time, the city will ever clean up again. So, looking at all the struggles, the sanitation, flooding, the dirty, everything, make myself no say, this is about time we all need to reach out and come out for can contest election or take over the city and change them, especially when it comes to sanitation, deeper drainage system, cleaning of all the streets, lights, and everything. Because right now, the city looks like a deprived village. So I believe, say, with me, we come on board for Corona, the city of Fita Mayor, will make a more changes than waiting the city look like right now. And how do you plan for achieving that? I plan for achieving that, one, with the waste na fita. For example, I can give Bombe. Bombe, we can do the landfill there, where we can create jobs for youths there and other people in the city. With the landfill, we have a system called the Coventer um, system. Even with that, we can create more jobs. With the Coventer, you can change NIG into gas, where you can able even give gas light, a clean <coughs> energy light in the city of Fritter. So even with every day, blackout, blackout, with the Coventry system, we can able to create waste to process and forget proper gas. And secondly, we can keep the city clean. Communities then, we can do broom brigade, whereby they give the whole community, picking mama, papa, everybody can come on board the first 90 days. We clean them with a sweep, show say yes, we love the city. Then, with free time, it's education. Because all the other countries, they go there, they begin to teach people from where you the nursery, how for clay. So we do plan it will be part of schooling, or teach them within a, not, do not litter. So we will put dirty box by every corner of the city of free time. And we will put a billboard, where they show the difference between trash and recycle. Then we're supposed to get a recycle fan, whereby, in the recycle, from the recycle, we can able to get metal, or they get a metal farm, even for make iron rod, we will even become cheaper for people and for builders. And it's possible to continue for trade of tea. In the final, the going to the country like is consistency. The way they start, but they need finish. If you start cleaning one, two months, the third month, this is a cleaning stop. So with consistency, I believe so we could change the city of Freetown with dirty, especially with sanitation. And I'm ready for work with SLRA and any city in government following change the city of Freetown. That's why I came in as an independent candidate. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, because I want the candidate to feel relaxed and be seated, chances are that if I stand up, they will keep standing up. <laughs> so I'm going to sit down. So I keep them seated, yeah? <laughs> Each of them here is potentially our next mayor, so we have better start respecting them. <laughs> so next I'll go to Kasim. Kasim, why do you think say, anybody could vote for you? What thing 
by his strength, what did he offer to the people of Freetown? Um, Mr. Omar and fellow Sierra um, I believe, say, it would be nice for them to vote for me because I would be in place for transform Freetown. In a sense, Freetown for now, this I can tell on our career, they really feel as I can say. And that because sickly people they get malaria, people they get typhoid fever, because it comes, I mean, the city does it. For example, if you go to places like this Bome or this Kinton Bome, where you go to them places, you know, we we'll let, we'll let people live in that area. If you see people that live there comfortably, these are places where they need for transfer. Pull on the side and they pull this Bome out, transfer and far off. But that will be only done if the help of the government, the central government, because I know Dr. Graf no more say I will do this. If the central government they will come together with me. Then again, for example, people they get so much of confrontation at the main street they like Abacha Street, where you go there, you know, easy for the person pass here and that. Where you drive Abacha Street, you go no say yes. The market section for transform, you need for be transformed. If the market don't in our batch of streets, then no side you can be fast. No easy for the people there. You want the way they drive, you want the way even the pass for good businesses. No easy for it. Then again, you get areas in where I believe say the city council need for put on Therefore, men put on very serious men, and I believe Semi will be the right person because me come on at the area. Like this, um, uh, as I begin to learn earlier, I say I come on down East Brooklyn. East Brooklyn, that influenced me more for like going to this mayorship. Then an area where you go there, you know, we believe Semi will be in that area. Now let me come up. I will let for let if me be mayor. Or transform the area in the, the East Brooklyn, you go down, I call, I don't know how to call it, say, by Connaught Hospital Leander, one side by Connaught Hospital Leander, where people in the live, you know, the sense for the people in the area. So, with the help of City Council, me ready for pulling. I can assure that. And I've seen for what it is. Well, uh, it depends. In the central government, for that is most important now, with the help of the central government, because single handedly or as a central mayorship, I don't believe Semi will be able to do that. Why is the help of the central government? Again, Mr. Omar Olekari tell you, we go on the street of Utah, you see vehicles and back, both done. Yeah, this are the rights and the duty of the city council for remove them equally. If only all while they talk and they based on the central government, if they will come to one, if the central government they will come to one with the local government for remove them equally from the street because all the cost traffic, especially when this level still do not crash. I believe Senate will be the right person for do that thing with the help of the central government and youths, only for empower youth. These are jobs that we are believing so you them within place for do. If only youth them, the employ youth them, and they sign and they and then open place and they the city council employ youth them for letting them go open and they sign and be very nice. And this will be because I believe so well. I get connection with the youth as far as the city is concerned. I get connection with the youth. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, clap for yeah. <laughs> Madam Ivona Kisoya, mm -hmm. why are for vote for you? Why are people inside you talk to vote for the mayor? What thing you get for offer? Okay, so um, thank you. 
Um, I don't get the privilege to work in the city for the last five years. And the way how I do, we call it an inclusive approach. So I start, and I tell them, I say, fostering the driving, the sanitation, and things that people forget. In 2018, we had a coming as mayor, Dr. Binde also. We don't even get to the street, the streets every day. Then I say, the things that we don't bring in. But of course, the other thing we have to remember everybody is that I don't come out of that office from the 28th of February. So for the last three months, me not to be in the mail. So Dorkinos was on the thing where, if you, those are like bridge. You go build bridge January, June the bridge go the day. But if you know, if you stop for sweet February, June is the city go dirty, just for let people then get that adjustment. Coming to me from the mail, because the approach where it take to the city problem, now one way comprehensive. We go first having, we own idea for a community for progress in Freetown, then having a slogan for the election. We go meet the people of Freetown in August and September of 2018. We engaged 15,000 Freetonians then in 322 focus groups. And then when we get sessions, then we technical people as well. Because we say, no, we'll just do the bottom up approach. Then we take also the top down. Then we meet the technical people then, the private sector, the government people then, the different MDAs, as well as the international development partners, because from the thing we want to do, the money all over the inside comes to. So out of that process, now we develop Transform Freetown, where they look all the challenge of the city. You can't just take one side, because everything we do, they affect something else. Sanitation, affected by urban planning, by lack of building permit, health, affected by water. So we take comprehensive. So Transform Freetown, there's four clusters. Number one, resilience. Inside there, you get three priority sectors. The first one, environmental management, because this question of the city, this is the geography, make we very vulnerable. If you look then uh, and report saying, we'll tell you, say, Salon and Freetown in particular, now one of the most vulnerable to climate change. So we number one priority under resilience and the environmental management. Number two, urban planning and housing, waiting at the issues around that. Number three, revenue mobilization. Because anything you want to do as a city, you get forget money. Who signed that money to come out? When I came in as mayor in 2017, seven billion, nine million being the own source revenue we council generate. By the time I left in 2022, I mean 35 billion. Now we now we've been able to generate from the changes that we will make. So that are the first one, resilience. The second one, we have to look the people then, human development. And ultimately we do under human development. We say we get for look at education, we get for look at job creation, skills development, then job creation with a focus on tourism, the number four is the persons with disability. We move from there now, the third cluster we call a healthy city. Where do we look on a healthy city? Health, the PHPH use them where they own that we, and other health matters where you can bring at the community level to public health. Then you get water. Not to that we mandate to, and this is something very, very, very important for letting people understand. When it comes to Watana, the city, Guma, now in that organization, we're responsible for water. But since we get a mandate for community concerns as a whole, we also put <coughs> water for work with Guma on water. And then the third one, sanitation, where we all don't talk about, but it's not telling us something about sanitation. Sanitation not to events. Sanitation are systems and processes. We need for start, first of all, with behavior change, where colleagues and don't talk about. Dotty, I can always say to Fritonian, Dotty not come on a sky for them. Now we, any dot within our ground, now one feet only and nine foot and eight. But how you change behavior? We introduce things in the clean and zone competition, sanitation hotline, we do enforcement, different things that we're not going to, but you get to work right across the sanitation value chain. When you don't go from behavior, you say, okay, collecting the dirty, who say you collect the dirty? Get a public space. When an inmate now today or before I left office, you receive people and they clean this, they skip this every single day, but you also get to say households, when I come into office, we will only get 8,000 households we register with policy for letting collect and dot Now we don't reach almost 50,000 because we bring the tricycle groups and come inside, we strengthen that side of household waste collection. When you collect the dot you say dot we go. We get so many illegal dump sites. We begin to close illegal dump sites, convert them into green spaces. If you think along the cross, once thousand that you see, 
plants now. That used to be an illegal dump site. We get similar ones across the city. But moving on very quickly beyond that, you get to think about recycling. Waste energy can actually happen today. If you go to Susan Bay next week, you go meet, say, the biodigester who begin to operate. This time you take the daughter from Hagan Street Market and turn on electricity where the lights on stay. That pilot will work. Okay, but the okay. final thing, land, the, the <laughs> landfill. You get forget landfill. <coughs> but the landfill not a small team. $20 million will be raised. We mean in part of that process with the World Bank. But the issue is the land. But that site is, is not possible. Sorry, because the site in these things, when, when I come back, we will build land. We'll get a chance to take a bit more of this. But I'm just a bit curious, and maybe we'll come next and ask you, because the point was, what do you plan for do? Is that the things that we you tried for in the past, and then you have to continue for do? Because the question was, what do you plan to do if you are elected? But I can't see you later on that. Oh, yeah? okay. Like I'm to... Um, Five months to uh, Like I'm to... Lydia. Yeah. Lydia, yeah. why do you think still for vote for you? What do you stand for? What do you want to do? As I stand for being a mayor to be, I get passion for business as a seminar in the history and the business. One, let's see percent of men in our freedom. When I read, I would take care of the homes, clean them, and we rely on business. So the challenge is where we go to our markets. We don't get a better marketplace, but do business with the strength. So, they want to come in for being there for now build a peace market so that we go to do business day. Man them a woman day because also we know more they do business. That's not one. Because look like the peace market, they don't sell me. We well, don't know who that sells me. You look at <laughs> that, that big building where you see that we for markets. They don't sell and now in a dwelling place. So Really, woman, they will suffer from marketplace. So then I want to we make a man become a male who not able to take care of that particular situation. The second one, the water. We just drink for water. We begin to collect now to get three, three o'clock just for them to we'll get access to water. So I'm picking the even late for both school. So if me become a male, I they work with Guma, we were able to make every area get water, home as well as away. As we turn over the sofa, then over the late for go. Another one will make a one be a male. If God help me, be a male. And the road construction. Now, in the CC, the road, the way how they construct the road, is because one flood. Because some road, now we started the water passage. Good. We need to come and it can block. It doesn't get in the way. They did build houses in there. So when the rain come, it cause problems. People, they like inside there, you need to know the difference between the water and the streets. And get that difference. Another one, and the garage where they build and the streets say, all over Freetown, or any corner where you pass, the garage is this one. All corner get garage. And that's because it's traffic. So if I become a mayor, I go put a stop to that. We say garage for day, and day motocade for day for the make motocade. For the make park, we say for the make motocade. Not to all corner forget garage. That is the thing we. When we're going to our homes there or for come for work, because always traffic day. Another one, and the school picking them. The school compound, the Kindoti, first them, they see they standing together, they go host to host, and then schools them, then they check for dirty, for toilets, but that's not happen now. And that they affect the community. If they make sickness a boku, show this dirty. Sickness a boku, like this typhoid. What did they make people they get and because of dirty? Now they cause that. So I will take care of that situation for this school picking a more.
but they go down school to school or check for dirty. If the schools are clean, then the food the way they came on at school, if it's okay for them, I will put that in place. So that's some of the things that that's what we will stand for. Thank you very much. Since, since we still get some, some of the five minutes to know each of this, I just want to ask you, but this is my case, please, you have a view. Yeah. You know, clearly, we're going to free to accommodate more markets because free on the land, if I like say land, all done, done. <laughs> now, the hill and the water, no more less now. Yeah, yeah. since we are of free tongue, not get space again for be. But such the area as they did, where we go demarcate the for build a peace market. Even if they don't build structures, they did, we will ask the people in to move. Then we will find a place. For them, for building the houses. Yes, they do. Because they cannot them at the end. Let's know this. For being my Okay, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Lillian. So the next part now is I have, I've been actually put some things together, some talking points, some areas of discussion, but interestingly, all those things are more or less popped up naturally by themselves. So I'm going to like try to zero in on them now. One thing that I have here is the issue of solid waste management. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start with the with Afghan, Afghan mayor. Mm -hmm. Are you pleased with the way you manage solid waste in Freetown during your tenure? Yeah, I really, really think we don't put into place a comprehensive system. As I say, dirty collection or dirty waste management is not an event. Now, really, system. And we get system, we don't face challenges. I mean, that is clear. From, as I say, when it, we do the cleaner zone competition, I remember with so much joy when we make this competition at community level, where everybody, we, we come, we assess, we take the photos then of before and after. Over a six month period, all communities are suddenly mobilized because they know so they will get prized. Would I get water well and um, so, um, solar light? Would I get tank? Would I get scholarship for picking them? It really internalized it, it the idea, say, the community for clean. But you know, waiting and missing an element in some of these things, finance. So at that time, we do have successfully 2019. 2020, I just put a look with revenue. 2020 the year where the, the Ministry of Local Government stopped it from collecting property rates. And therefore, that year, they will not be able to pay the prices for the cleaner zone competition. That day, it can get stalled. Then, never mind. We still need to continue with community engagement, talking to people. Say we even bring chiefs them come on board and get and say, we're not getting power for five. So the idea is saying you get to think through and make people and change their attitude to Dotsy. Now something where we really don't establish, but it takes internalization. And I tell you, change does not come overnight. Even in countries that decide and stop litter, wasn't the UK in the 80s when they do non-litter campaigns? It will take time and it take resources. We did there in our meetings. I didn't have a place. Like, I was on so inside building. You can see people in drink water and then cup. Believe you me, we might have on the ground. Even indoors. So we have to work on that. And then are we all responsibility. I remember one time we used to be there together around Lomley Police Station. Uh-huh. On the cleaning Saturday, somebody drinks water. I told you, you don't have to. <laughs> Not for the only time that. <laughs> But what they say is they take investment, they take commitment, but that's something where you get for no city take time. You know, it happened overnight. Then you come to this question of this of the household waste collection. If you ask now this room here, let people then put show of hands, who that they collect and dirty for them? Who that they pay? Because dirty is expensive. Sanitation is expensive. That vehicle needs fuel. The person needs salary. When you talk about sanitary inspectors, at the moment, Council their 589 staff. The, the monthly bill just before I left was 600 million. It just increased to 800 million because of increments we having for the first time in 15 years. 800 million loans, not to pick him on. So to add additional staff, we add 50 Met Police. Why? For sanitation enforcement. So you you the concepts are very clear. We have really mapped them out. You talk about the household waste collection. Now, over 1,500 young people there now, you get employment from dirty collection. And then they actually do them as a business. So in this room, how many of you now know who that they collect in a dirty? Some man, they make like for say they know. Some man knows it they don't know. Some man knows it they dirty, now got her, then they give her net. So these are the challenges. We built transfer stations, which got, which were never operationalized, but have no safe five more to do more 
they will be operationalized. Okay. And I say we're doing the process for build recycling capability. So I'm very, very satisfied. See, the systems are in place. Systems can be sabotaged, than a fact, but as long as you don't map out the system, it can be reinstated, reinstituted, and the people can be energized for let we all set this dotted together. Thank you very much. Now, Siri, you. Uh, Siri, you agree if we say free time waste management has been satisfactory inside the last five years? No. Why not? I'm going to shop with the former mayor, they say, but just these three months, the city got this so. We busy the dots, even more copper is a human being than at the country. <laughs> so I'm kind of shocked. Sure. Because one, the reason is I don't think Boku markets there to name dove courts. I clean dove courts. I never see dots in my entire life. So we use eight foot in trucks. Each truck makes 15 loads of trash. Dotty. This is not saying to last month back I clean lonely markets. Now in the say from February to now, not so in. No, you disagree. So he, I don't they clean. Now they say so. I make a shock. If you watch me, I will hit that part down. The good thing, do this is not even about February. I tell you, but before February, we clean normally markets. We come where well they inside. They end the market too many things. The dirty don't kick. It's only like when they say crow. Normally market. I go Bombay Street. We go to the community. They were come out. That dumb truck. Then they left city council. That dumb truck. They go there and pass. How many days? Let me the pick up with lonely. This is not lonely market here. Then another one. You go car where it's sad. And other place they don't go buy with food, they will eat. The dirty my golf court. If you're they are born, I will say I'm not going to go there again. We go peace market off New Road. The dirty, the worst. This are the markets that we don't clean. So not to the not of February markets and they talk about so not to this new dirty. These are the old, old, old dotty that they made a talk about. <laughs> not only one, no. So, <laughs> these are the new dotty that they talk about. So, these are the, so to me, I think, say, the Victoria municipality, it fails with big time when it comes to sanitation. Because why? Like when Madam Akisaya said, it's on the Europe. If they bring what we learn from outside, we can't try for Brianka. Dotty box. I'm not seeing no dirty box in any corner of the street of Freetown. No dirty box. Then cyclists, the way that they talk about, you know, even but we're in the street, you can not know if you they recheck with the council or there, whether then they work or not. Hearing that the people of the clean dirty, like me, I'm a master that we they pay for clean dirty. That sit out of Freetown, the salon clean dirty. Clean Freetown. Clean salon. Clean salon. They are worst. Because the reason why I say so, they don't even get tired. But the way you see them, they all look, I don't know how to describe it. They get why you know what they wear. The way they put an RS bag, if you need to pay attention, you see them go catch them at the next person in drive. Now then they make, they go see where you go. So like everything are in order. So to me, sanitation is zero, zero when it comes to the street of people are the most filthiest city. Even when you go upline, they cannot, when I go upline, go Kenema for the first time, in January, in the feeling at the end of the city, in the feeling at the end of the city, in the bomb. All right, we'll okay. probably come to you later on. Yes, Kasim, this the, the solid waste management of Freetown. Yeah. What's my satisfaction level and how you plan for improvement? Because this is the one thing we I can assure now when we give an email out, a lot of the questions. When they come via email, they raise the issue of sanitation and this uh, solid waste management. What do you think? Um, Mr. Omar, on a very serious note, you told us. <laughs> <laughs> no two ways about it, you told us. No, to be real, you told us. Because we have people in the worker, in the back of Motukai worker, we watch the city of Freetown. If you don't travel, be discouraged. Um, Madam C, they talk about this um, clean salon, clean salon. In fact, 80 to 90 percent of the over in that money. <laughs> yeah, if they go for go clean you, if they go for go take you dirty teeth back. What you make are the measure? This not happy to me. And this not people the way they pay. 
these so are things, can, can somebody come by that like percentage? Because yeah. some of these guys are young guys where they do a very, very not very uh, decent looking job, but a very honest, dignified job. No, no, they're not honest. They're not honest. What do you make they talk so? I don't get complain. Of course, like Mary and the complain, the countless. Because most of the team where they are in America, they contact me. People they take an hour say, me or me or large hospital, so you don't understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that like, any two up are something of the sort, the large complain to me. You don't understand, based on the kind of those people in America, right? No, no, honest. This has been telling you for real. Let me tell you, you know, they're all they're honest. Um, this week, so like I was talking about you, when well, the worst thing is when you see me join Dutch one, when you see you. When you park motor car, you make like you walk car, you didn't know the difference between the gutter and the street. Then I can tell you, well, I believe anybody in the I can tell. If I put in the book, they feel themselves through that. Because a man can mistake mass, the full scenario, with grunt, they put it inside the gutter. Many years ago, sorry, Cassie, many years ago, there was a minister of health. Uh, I don't forget the name. We get a program yeah, on the television. No, no, I want mommy. I don't forget. But anyway, the point that they make is in say free tone, not dirty, not dirty, the free tone. Okay. What's that belonging to? Well, now we need people now, now we don't see the free tone. So uh, that's the point. And we need people away dirty free tone. We don't get we forget that this dot here. We know the because if we dot see, then we get away forget that the dot so it will be very easy. How the dot see the day not to the end. So what you go do for ensure that? Well I would try me away. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> Which way? Which way? Huh? Which way? <laughs> well we get let you see me um as a return. I will always embark on the central government because of finance, not the problem. You don't understand. Um, as Madame Akusua had talk, finance, not the problem. Because with this, for clean the city back, we need finance. But you know the thing, say, the most sustainable thing for Duna for for generate your revenue, how you plan for make sure, say, you want to clean the town, you need money. How you get the money? Not all people look up to the central government for those. Well, from city council, I will generate the revenue. Oh, oh. From city council. There are many ways. We actually don't have the pay tax. So city council will ask me for. Mm. Even that local person where they sell pepper in the market, they pay tax. That's I believe to all know that. Sure. That woman will sell pepper, they pay tax. They are people and tickets. They don't understand. Mark, mark, you find. So with that revenue, they feel able to collect that. You understand? All right, thank you very much. I want to ask you one question, but I think I can ask. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to ask you this question, Lillian. Yeah. This waste management key uh, and the issue of money for clean the town don't come up. Why I want to let you tell me how you plan for clean the town. I want to ask you whether you consider for increased market use. Then you pay 1,000 now, is that right? Yeah, yeah 1,000. If you go and charge them 5,000 for like get more money, it will keep at 1,000. <laughs> no. It will still have a bad deal. It will still remain as how it did because then you get better profits. It will affect the traders. This market where the price don't go up, not to market where you sell where you get better profits. Because from outside you go buy them, the price is up. So where you come for can sell, unless you add the price. So if you pay market due, you don't need to pay higher than what you usually pay. So I go address the solid waste management and freedom. Well, the first thing I will do, I will try for join with the plastic company then for let we work. At least, oh. being that now they did pay people for pick plastic and sweets, they did transform them into other things, they did use them for other <coughs> products. That's not one way, but that is simple. Of course, from the sino to plastic, you can even make the gardeners, you know, they take them, they make a manure or plant. 
what are we saying? Like, for instance, inside Calbaton, because me not left dirty too much, I'm not left dirty. So, like, I mean, make one group where we call myself Friends of Syria Lane. We gather people in, me not be the only female among them. We'll be the go do body job for raise form, for then we able for get talking so all that they were able for clean the place. No, that's a bit to do. Yes. Every Saturday, we they go out. Sunday, we they go on body job. So we get envelopes. We go clean people, they come back in. We don't have group for, we don't have a wasp pan for, then money, they will keep up. After Saturday cleaning, we get everybody, you also have money. So we'll be plenty. We do on that thing, we buy land, na Zion. In the place they will be, not to guy for build an institution. Yes. So the same idea going for And that's how the one. Council. Yes. So that you go raise more money and address yes. issues. All right, well, thank you so much. Uh, I will give Madam Akisoya um, a chance of rights of reply because some of the things I wouldn't say in the network is a bit of shit. But that's not a come to you. But that's it. Why is it that I'll give two minutes for response to this? And probably consider this criticism against you in terms of drawing a distinction between February and now mm -hmm. and February and five years before. Mm -hmm. People they say that because you know set systems in place for absorb the shock even after you. Mm -hmm. So that you just let no more be thin collapse. No, 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 so it's a collapse. The system has a way you either choose or run with them or you choose to abandon them. Those are question of a collapse. First thing we'll say, and no longer they take the guys and sweep, they stop them. So collapse, collapse, so then a decision. But coming back to the point about the market, where the market is in, um, and the cobweb and the markets, the cleaning with all the markets. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Siri, which I want to understand. Mm -hmm. Then we talk about this because it's very important. Yeah. One thing, as I say earlier on, one thing we will never forget when I come in 2018, that 500 and we pay many markets, and only quick, now we normally pay 500 per day. All of us are offline of 1,000. Now we engage the traders that we sit on a round table. I said, what is happening? When I tell them it's this year to 1,000, in, in return, me the ensure say when the market is clean. What are the challenges that actually happen now in practicality in terms? So go on the market, then vehicles them where they go clean the market. You go to choose one market a day or one market at a time. As a city, you have responsibility for 42 markets. And you get issues like petrol go from 6,500 to 21,500. Revenue, the local time we talk about, now 5,000 euros per person for the entire year. We need to be really cognizant of the things they are. This as as long as I ask so. And um, Mr. Kasim, you say you look to government or finance or do this cleaning. Let's tell you, say, within June now, this allocation. For 2023, government not pay one penny to council yet till this year. And in last year, now 50% of the budget come. But I've been built, that's not a fact. I've been building revenue base of council to the point where council own revenue relative to government. From when I come, when I come, I've been 68% in 2018. 2019, we bring that down to 50%. So government in money versus council in your money. By 2020, Government money don't be thirty three percent of the total budget, but the time I reached twenty twenty one, that been twenty six percent. When I left the twenty twenty two, government in money vis a vis council money, that been seventeen percent. So we build the base, the revenue base of the council. <laughs> but you, like how you run your home when prices then they go up. This is not the council way we've been day, not the old building. We now we able kind to the new building. It's wonderful for Freetown. Everybody loves the new building. But the new building, when we start, Edsa Bill was three hundred and seventy. million. I just want to ask you that question, Madam Mayor. Much as the time will wrap, I want you one minute. Yeah. But tell whether this, the new city hall, the, the building, whether it is good for revenue as it looks, or it eats a lot of money for sustainable. In one minute, please. Yeah, in one minute, the latter. Um, and I will give you Edsa as an example. Edsa, we build where we come. The first year was 374 million. By the time I left, we Edsa build up in 2.15 billion. From the year? No, for the year. Oh, okay. For the year. But look at that. Then a the, big how much the building they bring in in terms of revenue? The, it, it, it's under two, it's under a billion. It's under a billion on an annual basis because we get three tenants. 
Um, that that come back to you on that. I know I'm making the wrong. Please, I please, can't please. think. I can't think no, of the top of my head. But I will come back. I will come back to him. But what I can tell you certainly is that what I view so na Ed Sanomo, the building is expensive to run, but we must maintain them for the pride of Freetown. Do you mean increase the rents? We, you know, so when you sign a rent agreement, you can normally get for gig at least two, three years before you're able for AC rent. So you know, that, you know, very good landlords on people they get host my hand. They just increase the rent. No, not by, not, not by contract, not by contract. And if we challenge them, audit services there, you know, not Now we maintain them. Okay, I recommend to all the area, you will feature a lot. Uh, and I think uh, Madam Lydia mentioned a small bit. I don't know it's not uh, Kasim in your take on this. And honest to God, are they talking about as a, as, as a resident of Freetown as opposed to as a moderator for this debate? Sometimes I drive around Freetown, virtually every street gets a garage. They must kind of come out and park on the streets. Mm -hmm. And they see how they're entitlement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that man entirely, I would imagine, <coughs> Within the purview of the Freetown Municipality for Control. Mm -hmm. Kasim, how are you going to ensure certain garage and the streets then? No, did they? Um, Without relying on the central government. <laughs> yes, Mr. Omar. Mr. Omar. Even the, 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 the I call them the between police and police, then we, uh, Madam, so I get the gay issue in the garage there. Okay. That's a good point. He might, he might go. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes. Then police are away, Madame Akiswa again. They get issue. Council, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get issue. Because ultimately, me they talk so. I don't know on several occasions where the police are the meet motor car, they the make motor car and streets. Now money they take. So then we see them go they make their attempt. So then they take the spanner one, two, three. Getting twenty thousand, that and several things. So how how things will cut? It will continue no more. They didn't make the arrest properly. We at the end of the day, so then they take the issue to the council. We will make. I believe say if they set that precedent, they want to ten arrest one two motor car or they can't throw one two motor car go back and say because of the metrics motor car last week. They can from me. And a good example. When I bribe him, then believe no more for letting give them small team. When they meet in the open to kind of in the streets, they give them small team. So what do you go do for ensure say that think, alleged you get corruption for, you get for reinforce the police then? Because the police will go out there for do the job. They reinforce them. Oh. But who is it? In terms of the number or the pay? No, not only. Not only the number, not only. Set incidents, set examples. Until one or two will catch for that, for that corruption day, right? Fire them, or you do want to do it, go make them no say. <laughs> this will not for dry again. Believe you me. What's that claim in? On the sports. <laughs> <laughs> on the sports. If you do that one, they say one, two people don't know. Is this salon people then? But you get, you get, you get, you get, you get labor laws that will protect every man. You just can't grab and start and summarize it. Like, you can't go through but, the But we don't call. No, you go through give and they can they make sure say when are the employees, these are things the way you cover the, 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 the I call them. I never tell you, say if they catch you on this, somebody they make them. yes, this they make them dismiss you from the job. So the person will sign that, yes, and the agreement, the employment contract, the contract. If I told you don't accept, then we'll take you on the job and all know our job today. That is come together. On my one job, majority of people in the sofa for job. So if you don't accept, you don't sign that contract, they say if you catch up and bribe in a street, wait on your or motor card in a street. It's very, very simple. Be like me, I feel on easy. Why this is that day? It's not up to me. When you motor card broke, this is why they talk me. I talk reality before. It happened to me. Example to me. On one, two occasions, that you get one motor car, we get issue, right? Police they come then, met with police and police then they come. Yes, and pardon, okay, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, so, <laughs> so I will change. Really change. Okay. I, I, I come to the mayor. 
because I see Ibrahim for respond at some point, but I think this is very important. In January of 2018, when we get this inaugural debate, where Madam Akestabi has filed for going to cancel as a mayor, I remember we discussed the same issue of street garages, and you were very tough responding. What happened in the last five days? And I what the law was. So to this the one term where Kasimi answered being for be the central government. Because in actual fact, when you look the local government act of 2022, anybody or to, even 2004, anybody feel free for go look them, you go come find out, say the city council no get answers to this garage. You know what I get them? SLRSA. Bizarrely, the Sierra Leone Road Safety Authority not a mandate. And the garages. Yeah, they need late garages. Street garages. So if you see city council police, they go around that area day, then the unauthorized activity on them path. But I can assure you, say that's a lot more now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I can assure you, say no for ya. Why well, don't know that now? What no, Kasim, Kasim, wait. Oh. This chair where you the say. This chair where you say for start posting without notice. I want to tell you, say when I can account through. I meet legal case them lined up for me when previous mayors been on sack people them without going through that due process. But now I'm at, I sack you, I sack you. And can you go court? And then you end up paying millions because of that. So when it comes to the, the, the Met Police, I wonder, you know, say we bring in external uh, uh, um, um, advisors, we bring in outside people them, ex police officers, even from other countries. Do training for improve. We bring all kinds of systems, but as I said before, just to give you a sense, you say if the foundation or the way you go, things will happen, it will fall. I want to say again, not a decision, not a, not a political will. For example, in order for improve accountability and the delivery of staff, you know, I've been a counselor, me bring in that clock in where you put your finger. Where you arrive at work, so that person go, we go know how much of you come, we go know how much of you go. Ask me what's happened to that system for my life. Hmm? The umbrella? You know the. <laughs> <laughs> wait till I say, Kasim. So, what do you do then? You then the I don't know. Down. I don't go. It was not shortly before you left? It's shortly before I left. It was one of the last things that we'll be able to put in place because, as I've been mentioned, I said the salary bill of council like 800 million for a month. A billion, eight hundred million for month. And for certain, the people the high salary, you know, it was like basically down to to minimum wage, but minimum wage also more now related to cost of living, not a living wage. So I've been asked, we we I actually bring in HR people then for do and then a study and analysis and harmonize salary at least. Some men say from where can this fifteen year one day another increase. So let me look all my qualification. We look at my experience and we try to make things more fair. But for let we do that, it take three years because of resistance. In the end, we do them. And as we do them, I say, we're not going to make this increase, we're not get good performance management. So let me bring this system to at least everybody feel obliged. Say, we know who say they come, who say they go, and everybody know waiting and they doing the work we day. All but. Right. All right, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> See, I want I want to ask about another thing to identify where are the things that we are things say gets me off one dress. Um and I want for you tell me what will be a solution. Street begging and street training. Oh. What's in the video about this and how you think so for address it? Street training. Yes, we all want to do that out of the street, but they don't and the two parties then APC SNPP. Because they can vote and they allow them to be for seven of the streets that I want to. The way they don't get the vote, they now send people off the way they say no fear. So with me, they get to do reconstruction of marketplaces. You go to other African countries, then put the market at level. For instance, like Abacha. First floor can be the materials that they sell. All will be material supplies. So because people are selling the streets, why ask why you want to sell the street? Because if you say if I two days I don't have force to get the customer. So you all the inside, you don't go get sell. So we look at and say they make an ex level, like even if you do Nigeria, they did for Senegal. 
the first floor is not far than the cell. All be far, if there's not cubicle, small, small store, then put up, you know, say all this for the material. Second floor, if not toiletries, everything are toiletries. The third floor, if not, whatever we say, the England sell a, a butcher, shoe, whatever, then put an opening. Then I want it. Then second, if not the marketplace, is like, for instance, I go Calbaton for one small, I go back, a bafa, bafa, charcoal market, nine hundred years. No public toilets, no nothing. It was like a 1950 system. They live. So if they reconstruct, they make a back into a level where they say because all man for buy fish and meat. Fish and meat within the last floor. Then if that like, they go claim because man for put fish, beef, and then at the soup. So in go then at the last <laughs> like crab. So you go then at the last unit. So they no balance I go by the banana one floor. Then I prepare them all that thing there. Then go there my one floor. So I believe say so when you do that thing there, then consistency. Because we sit there, like where if people they want votes today, they left all night. As if people want to man, then like there are plenty of people and toss and win there around like their tools. You know, but I feel safe consistency there at the end of the day, where they don't make all their markets and they will enforce her. Then put her in a way, don't make it for their time. If they don't put money in place. And co- because what is the lack by the government, the all side municipality now, central law, consistency, you know, they not fit up. When then they start something, they see, yeah, bah, 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 bah. two minutes, one month, the system die out. So now they make the person where they in charge, the system is sabotage, but no, but then they sabotage the same. It's huge by you. And let me tell you what I asked the boss. Begging and the future get the letters that they come. You didn't know, but of course, I was not there. So, you see all these bands and them talk <laughs> in the last, particularly the last, I think, two years or so. You get dozens of beggars waiting at the sea road, some of the users and holes, and then they sleep. So they get big camp. How do you fix that? I believe, say, like, with like that one will come with central government for shelter for people there because one way you can buy. Employment is not there for youth there because now the bigger man and not of old people again. Like, young folks then they beg now. Now, but who gets for then they show you everyone and they look me so angle for treatment. All they are the new system now. They. So, I believe say if they even like them because like them, but where they do them drugs where they bigger, bigger than the street. So, I believe say if they create jobs for them and try for empower them, you know, sensitize them again with the street begging. I believe they don't they build shelter for them because most of them are homeless. Then they come back with the central government because they can see what exactly my Trinity School. But you see what it's observed, correct me if I'm wrong. Then you know it not happen incrementally like every year, then the growth. They are just all of a sudden they come from somewhere. <laughs> from last year. They came from somewhere. I don't know those villages that are from <laughs> last year. <laughs> if you begin from Trinity School, say you go all the way straight down Kisiro. They did it from if you say you give five million, you will begin get to the end. Yeah, we'll the council is awesome because I think yeah. some of the key things that will be addressed by the next occupants of the mayor's office. Because I think it don't turn Kisiro into an eyesore, to be honest. Like many of the towns don't become an eyesore. That was our main artery, mm-hmm. apart from the new bypass we don't build now. That's the main road. Mm-hmm. One possible way that's not talk now, uh, Lillian. Yeah. Lillian, I don't know if you do observe this. You do observe that. Now, when we pass on kind of streets of the last two years out of Zaba, where somebody be build those mm-hmm. in building material, granite, yeah. sansa, mm-hmm. all the mail with the gun. Nobody's yeah. taking an action. Yeah. So what do you go do if you're a mayor of Freetown, for example? If you're a mayor, government can be mayor of Freetown. Anybody who's putting building materials in the road, who's someone to come will pass on us, this for people in passage. And they bring come on to carry the bill all in the loss. You don't go use that. You don't go pay when I call send up police. And you take them and go put some for government use. And that's how we do it. All right. And what's an idea about this street, uh, street begging as well? Well, the street beggars, what's in my own view about them? How for help them? Because they want to be some day. It's like you pull in a street to give them money. They, they go there back. Some day don't be part of their lifestyle. They know where we do without begging. So, no homeless, so, but it don't be part of them. 
But they come in, if I be near your waiting, I will do. Go pull it all at it. Kill and go. And you go fence side for them. Mm -hmm. So you have not seen you young. When you're not old. And the fence work for you. Oh, fence work for them? Yes. It's a very tough promise. If you win, you will If I win, <laughs> you will not hold. And the fence work for you. You know, as you say, you know, you really, you really get issues where you know, able to do anything for yourself. And the credit to NGOs for letting help you. If you get speaking way strong, <laughs> or you get somebody who will take care of you, you can business, they come here and believe in business. They do business for take care of you. All right. We don't conclude this round. No, I don't want for you now for react now. We all not talk on this round. I'll come back to it later on. But I want to come now to the audience. Because of the limitations of the technology, whoever we are in who can ask questions, kindly make you work at first, let come at the podium now. So that the camera will capture the person. Yeah? One minute. Nobody asks questions for more than one minute. And then after the questions, the panelists will respond to them. I mean, it's, unfortunately, we'll go for dark in the room for letting the camera go well there. Which means, I don't know if it's going to clear it, but I'll, I'll see. Any questions? I'll see one, two, three. So I'll start with this one. Sorry. Your and be your so, is it back on? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, I think, say, uh, I'm so impressed by you uh, candidates for the position of the season of the And I've been saying this to hide some people who have my because not all, every somebody says that it was I was not, actually wasn't impressed by him. And um, the question entirely the book for Mrs. Um, it has been not a big chance um, in this election. And um, your party, APC, has, mostly, has mostly been successful in winning this seat. Should you or your party be paid, if not entirely, but certainly for challenges? And what should we expect this time? And uh, also, I would like to hear some of the development you achieved, of which, I'm, of course, definitely name some of them, and what of course we have to also expect. And to me, and most of all, the problems are assistance. I could name them poor drainage. For transportation, street trading, child and traders, even in the wee hours, you see children in the street, um, so on and so forth, Fitness, deforestation, poor planning, and main city. Honestly, even some of the problems then, even, even, if we, even if, if, if imagine towns and cities, we see the problems, they will not tackle this, their problems, they are still the Okay, how many stop? So, what can you do? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. The man in the glasses. Yes, this one is one, and he is third. How comes to it? Yes. Hello. Hello. Good evening. I want to ask a very simple question to Ms. Moni, and I want to say thanks to all. And it, yes, okay. very simple question, but please don't get me wrong. Oh, all no. right. With all your brilliance, things that we point for, we love the city, which is very good. And we hope it will come in favor. Let's assume if you lost the election, you will join the one way we will develop the city or go further. That's for you. Okay. Then, secondly, to um, our mommy, uh, you had five years. In the office. Mm -hmm. The audience may want to know the most valuable moment you had in the office. And maybe what will be uh, or how will you come to overcome those challenges you want to work well for the city. Regardless the problems we are facing, the, the street feeling, 
and, and as well as uh, the, the, the garbages we have all over the city. What do we do? Or what would the conviction be just as we do need to do to make it? Thank you very much. If I want some funny question, but interesting. What do you ask Marcel and Creo? When they ask the one of a Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a bit of a shock. Um, to inform a mayor. I watched one video the last time where one of the diaspora brought up from America, and in front of you, he said, you don't bring a cable car at this point. And as a mayor, you have to be honest to your supporters, and you support that particular brother, and you laugh at the innocent people. For me, that was a really, really, really dishonest stuff to do. You know, that's my last question. to Brother Kasim, I know you for so long, but for now, you are a very honest brother, and I wish you all the best to your public self. Thank you very much. So let's let it, let it take notes. One more here. Thank you very much. Um, I think the main concern that the um, tribal earth is. I say this because we turned on makeup of several times. Uh, some of we uh, natives then, but the women of Uton, because they were go Canada, they don't be don't be practice law. So always they are one of Uton. So that accommodation of other tribes then, other than the Canadians, they pay them right? And are they allude specifically to an incident where and um, former mayor, he made where they come from, he can all the positions they understand. So, my own question not, not only to the former mayor, but to all the candidates how we they ensure say we harmonize all the different voices that we have in Peter, so that we form a strong capital because of Polita, where they cater for all the concerns. Because very recently, I watch one video where somebody is going to go in now. We understand the history. We understand what's all about. But very importantly, we want a capital city when I make a melting point. How every one of you are, when Sean say we free tongue, I'll one pot. Thank you. Thank you very much. From, sorry, from Bona Lady, otherwise I was going to my left, but she's the first female. So that's I'll please identify one person. Preferably, everybody. I'm Josephine Um, For the former mayor, um, you have done well. Um, I just want to ask if you have allocated more trustee because we all know say the trustee the trust level of human salary. Like, have you allocated more space for those things? Because if I can recall, when I can um, gather the trust. I remember they told you to If you take days, like two, three days, for let them consider all the So then I then for it, it, it's a suggestion, like you say you want for the of carrots for market them. I will suggest if you want the of carrots, like a open place like this, where possible can like this store. A certain store for certain things, another store for another thing, another store for another thing. So that is my suggestion. Thank you. Thank you. So one more here, I'll respond and then we'll come back. Don't worry, we'll go behind small, small, as much as time goes on this way. Thank you very much. Um, very impressive um, candidates. Um, I think the main concern is that the tribal elite is the same Okay, so I want to know who that they want to choose as we make them in the one. Thank you very much. So the pause here, then they respond. They are ensure that the next round no can be sideways, questions don't come out. We'll go behind, so don't go be so forget, yeah?
Or it starts with the uh, Siri. Okay. May I request the hand? We ask if I'm not willing. Well, it depends that God gets willing, that God gets some. No, that is if we can get to win. But should the case happens, it all depends if whosoever is going to be the city mayor want to work. Because I've already done a bishop. This is not my first time doing the cleaning and everything. I've been working since 2016. So my video, my things, everything will still continue because this is not just about me. Freetown is way bigger than me. So this is about Freetown, my Freetonian people. So I'm going to still continue my journey. Then they ask questions to all of Una, we like the, the melting pot for like every ethnic group where they say Freetown feel a part of Freetown for building the city. How are you going to ensure that happens if you win? If I win, because that's another thing, because especially when it comes to the mayoral side, if we're even saying a Creole man in president, but not common as somebody in the village, and Freetown born. It's not part of the constitution, okay? It's just the same two party, APC and SNP people that are trying to doctrinate mainly. People for them think say they na create position. But as I say, I think so we all know why. That's the one thing I believe. Because in free time, we believe we serve as Africanism. We don't know about tribes. You know, I believe we call for a Creole girl country. We cannot believe in those tribal things. But this is all about education. Maybe if they add part of the history of free town, a topic there, because sometimes education starts from when young. Not a way possible, only the teacher and certain things. So now, from the next generation, and from the in teaching and school, say we are all the same because you know, easy right by the smelting points for grown ups there for say it will happen automatically. Now, they possibly not go sugarcoat them, but at least they start for teach people and school say we see ourselves as one because as we don't see because one in free time when I be the group here with religion tolerance, tribe tolerance, mm -hmm. we celebrate pray day, we Christmas. Uh, if you don't mean not to soya, you know, see me say, get me suit, we they pan out, we eat go. I get me friends when I create all they cook pepper soup on food, we go go eat, we pray they can, they they can. So I believe, say, then those then days that there's all this politics, now you don't can bring all this deviation come in between. So now the political acts, then I then force them for educate back because now they need lectures. I believe, say, the next one, if this um, presidential debate and go even either for let be a part of you before you contest for presidential election, you're supposed to take a debate. Mm -hmm. And whatever you promise, then we'll hold up to that with you all. So at least if we educate with the kids in our school from when they're young till then they begin old, because some the days that the kids are all born in the twenties, they meet this patinomic, then patinomics of the world. So you can teach them <laughs> for more than small, till then they big, then the, the, the things the way we be learned when we grew up in the 90s, then say go learn Boko Farm, they call it culture, because you watch that they, they lack culture, they lack so many things. At least they are from schools. All right. Because the woman, they're all in the street, all day they sell. So time not there for let them educate them, picking them on certain things. Okay, sir, thank you very much. Admittedly, me, I know some of you pass what I can college. Um, as you said, I can write So, college, I can serve you for just for disclosure. Yes, Madam Yvonne, you respond to the question. I mean, get quite a number. Yeah, get quite a number, yes. So in fairness, instead of two minutes, I'm going to give you eight minutes. Okay, thank you. Because you get a lot of questions. All right. Um, the, the very first gentleman, Rick Cam, he talked about the blame. If the party is there for blame. And But before I even go to you, there's something we, the, the sister Siri, say, well, I just want to pick up on. Siri, look now, I want to assure you, say, we it come to street trading. For me, not a question of playing with people then. That question of practical solutions then. When is the development possible? If it is easy for us to talk things there, but if there is other problems, how do we generate this money? What do we think that we talk about? When we don't set our towns to be one market, but we're not able to afford for building them all, maybe we do a PPP. We get nine markets, don't look them up. What about NPA, NPA, how do you call that? NPA, where you will see, say, we submit people. So let me pass now, the private sector developer, for those nine markets, we do the survey, we do the plans, we do the business plan and we put that out for tender. We get three companies that we come forward. 
The one way we in the end, it can disappoint me. But I know economic situation of the country changed very rapidly. So we see the not put say we're able to do, we find out say able to do one. So I wonder you know, say we get all intention. So our downs market was 90% done in 2018. Central government don't hold that market day under investigation. Five years, that market's still not complete. But from the council perspective, this is something we committed to and we'll go to. You ask, you, 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 you ask, not to you, the gentleman asked specifically about the all the issues. Let I explain something. We're very, very necessary for let we all understand. This question of collaboration, not to just a willingness for collaborate. Now, also a question of within the legislation say, if you they run a city, I know say a lot of the focus of this conversation is about sanitation, but let's say which are your biggest and most important tool for urban management, na building permits. You talk about possibly the put when they build and put the dot here, they put the sand and they put the gravel. In almost any side when we know, if you want to build, you first therefore go to the council. Now there you go take permit. Not the Ministry of Lands go get permit for the whole country. And the local government act of 2004, they make that function, they devolve. Because if you the you responsible for a city, if now this is not the city, then you don't know who that they build, then build here, then build here, then build on so build on so block gutter, block this, not really give permit to, but where you know give permit for the one way block gutter, where flooding come now, you then they call. When you not give permit for the one way go build up up kill, who sign motor cannot they go, who side dot not go be collected. When they even dot in at the water sign, are you then they call? So you see the importance for let building permits and land use planning devolve to the local government. In the 2018 manifesto, new direction manifesto, let me say inside one year, recognizing all these issues, then will devolve all them functions. Unfortunately, it did not happen. Instead, the local government act of 2022 recentralized that power day. So that's not one major issue. Child traders, you talk about child traders. I want to remember say there's a place called the Ministry of Social Welfare. And when you can counsel so many things, them when we assume now saying a council responsibility, but the local government act that in the talk waiting at council, then the ministry is waiting at the ministry. So we come to child trading, not to twenty way day. But that question about about picking them in the street. Now you make one of the vision. I mean, for build nurseries in the marketplace. And if you go Congo water market now, you go meet nurse where they're not there for two years. The market woman and then begin the when they become the market, they begin to go to school and a high quality education from Namia nursery. Then somebody say, waiting on the most challenging moment in office. I want to come back to that under the left and last. The gentleman will talk about the cable is, car. The gentleman will talk about cable car. Excuse me, sir. Now you ask about the cable car. You say it was disingenuous. I want to tell you, say, when you say you don't bring cable car, come. What it mean? It don't mean say the cable car they under operation. It means say I don't bring the cable car camp in as much as we go through first of all a pre feasibility study. We successfully we secure through the C40 cities facility. Mina, a vice president in C40 cities, we secure eight hundred thousand dollars for the full feasibility. As I talk to you now, sir, we get a team now. Fitomia, na GIZ. We get a team in like Germany where they work full time on that project day on the feasibility study. They launch them in the council in June. They go to Germany camp just last Sorry, month. On that, on that yes. did you agree say what you say and what is so different? Well, he said they don't bring them camp. Yeah, Me take and say, he didn't say you 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 don't you don't bring the concept okay. camp. You know, no, sir. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna tell you what you need to understand. Was there any point to require him? No, no, what he say to me, something that because me know it in there, me know it in there, the reality. But obviously, with all the free tongue, if cable car is flying at the city, we don't go see him. He said, not crazy for talking. He meant, he prays. He, he knows, obviously, he said, then at all. He knows, and we know, I, 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 I even introduced him to the GIZ team last month. The institute, and you can look this up. It's not hard to do. Google it, sir. Go to the next one. Okay, but just quickly, what you say? The, we're so blessed. We're so blessed 
because the full feasibility study will be complete March 2024. We don't already get an impact investor. We don't come on board for work with the team of Financam. We know don't need, don't they? The American Institute of Architects take upon themselves for letting we pro bono the design of the stations for the, for the trans for the cable car. They don't do the report, and I can share with you. If I what I'll do is after this, I put on a page. Then you see. So when he say we don't bring cable car, he means there's a process on the way. We're very very strong to make the cable car update in one year's time. To me, to me, I'm kind of incredulous. I'm kind of incredulous. Say anybody, but imagine say the man the talk say the thing you operate now now. You know. Then the next thing, tribal rhetoric, and and, and August. <coughs> Augustine, I, I, I'm really grateful say you bring up this point. This is a point we don't come up over and over again. And now a very, very important point to bring so. I want to say, as I long say several times, say the words that we've been be attributed to tribal and uh, slur for me, being totally taken out of context. Tribalism, not just something where they come up as a statement, not a way of life. And by you go know a person, but who that stay around them and about how we live. You see this here about Free Town? We all are Freetonians. This is our city. All of us. And we, we create them. As my sister, I have a lovely younger sister who um, is she, she really dear to history. But they've been there before because remember the history. Then we come out in different different parts of Africa. Then go to the Americas as enslaved people. Now come then come back. So every Creole gets side with side come out. And me do my DNA last year, no two years ago. I do my DNA test in, 19, uh, uh, 2021, and I get the certificate from Ancestry.com, which shows say on my papa's side, me na Fulani from Guinea Bissau. And on my mama's side, me na Yoruba from Nigeria. So we all come out, we all are not, we all not one. So we don't see any, you know, I, I, I want to assure you, say one of the things we I do as mayor, that is 230 celebration, that cultural parade, where everybody come with all their costume, their music, their dance. And this is not I will make an annual event. And I also to bring back lantern. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now quickly, quickly, yeah, I think for not much time, and we'll get a lot of questions from, from online at the camp, if time permits me. But just quickly, lots of the questions here, I don't ask them already, but just so that the, the candidates can go take notes, all right? And as a matter of fact, these two have got to respond as well to the questions that may come about. They infuse them all because we don't get time. Uh, Bankole Theodore, Bankole Theodore, Ture from Lagos, Nigeria. He said, how can the next mayor ensure that street trading is integrated into the CBD without affecting the livelihood of these traders and their sustainability. Yeah? Then Idris Akonte say, how do you plan to involve the ordinary citizens into the decision-making process of the municipality? And I think this is very important in terms of engaging community people then what the council wants for you, yeah? Then Suleiman Selassie, if any of any of you, to any of you, to all of you, if you are elected mayor of Freetown, what will you do to reduce or eliminate of your number of street trading and garages? What do you think is more important for the city right now? Building new homes and commercial space or rehabilitating or expanding better utilizing our existing homes and shop fronts? Anna Florence Amara. Quickly because we don't get time, George Shadrach Kamanda. What do you think about sanitation and filter and dealt with that? If elected mayor, what three steps would you take to put our city on a firmer and more accountable financial footing to effectively carry out its operations and deliverables? I go one and also take this note because when I all talk about things in a way about money, mm -hmm. this person they ask say, how are we going to ensure to raise revenue for address them particular issues and they uh, what concrete measures? Okay, Mamadou Sani Barry from Fobe College. They say, in an effort to revitalize Freetown, Mayor Akisoya initiated the ambitious Transform Freetown project. 
Unfortunately, according to Mamadou, the city has been plagued by numerous disasters in recent years, such as devastating floods and unbearable levels of noise pollution caused by rapidly filling bomber dump sites. If re-elected in the upcoming term, what solutions will you bring forward? The noise pollution question comes from three, at least three different people. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, very noisy. Mm -hmm. the Alasso, this is the fact that you're the megaphone, the way they sell, top up, top up, top up. <laughs> they mention all the things they And if somebody mentioned the church and the mosque, they must yes. go. Yeah? Mahmoud Kamara say, what specific plans do you have to address the poor sanitation of that with that? that? Um, Sheikh Hassan say, what action against those who deposit trash into our drainages? Mm -hmm. And I think the, the mayor tell me about increasing the number of municipal police. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how many we'll get or how many we need. Is that a study as to how many we really need? Because the manager of the trade say inside got away in the camp, you go club up somewhere. Somebody should be in these communities. They get cancel us the day. How do they work for insurance and check them, watch them? You understand? And report those things for take action against the police. And even the travel help them as well. This time we get time for a lot of questions, interesting. But these are the questions that we'll get to right now. Quickly, when I go respond to another and see if we get time for continue. I think each of Una three minutes. Timekeeper. Yes, Mr. Kasim. Yeah. 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 Um, if forestry trading be integrated into, into the CBD. So for make I explain, which I believe still understand by that, if you get countries then who sign street trading, now you get legitimate street trading, pedestrianized road, roadway, they don't say, yeah, now market, like borough market, for example, in the UK. So I guess what they try for say is, how we go do that one day? Well, they're going to trust you for no. So one of the things then where we will not able for secure um, with finance, financial support from the mayor of Zurich, when I'm a company woman, now a project where we call the CBD regeneration. And that one day, coming back to your point, so many things that we will get for do, we'll get for do in collaboration with the central government, namely SLRA, SLRSA, Ministry of Transport. That project daily money, don't agree. We will try for agree on an implementing partner who sign will really improve the pavements them, that is CBD. We will put solar light, green space, but we also will recognize, but we go get forget permission from SLRA, because also we go say, yeah, go be a pedestrianized street. So to that person in, in question, we get plans that we don't design, but we go need to get approval, and then that project they go happen. Then somebody talk about participatory budgeting. Very, very important. If we're not being in, um, listening where I start, I say one of the first things that we are do. Now, for engage 15,000 Fritonians. I don't, I don't say this is not part of the process of council, but I'm not sure so we don't ever do them to that extent, like how we've been doing them in 2018. But we're not, go, we're not just stop there because that's your first, your first view, right? When we be introduce the, and I'll talk these two together, revenue. So much don't be said about revenue. When I can't council, I can't meet property rates. Now, 37,000 properties. Then we need a council in books. And council in book, not in book, like as in paper, where they the rights span. So the process we are introduced, digitize the entire system. You go see, say, we go, we use satellite image over the entire city. We pick up every single one of the properties. We measure the roof lines, and then we take features. It takes me over one year for do that exercise thing. We end up, with 127,000 properties, now we books, but more importantly, or as importantly, the system digitized and payment no longer now by hand, now you don't but now purely by bank. That ensures that you reduce leakage, 
but it also means say we increase the revenue universe because we bring in them one day we don't get free tongue this almost yeah we don't build the oath we don't ever pay tax of course i can get pushed back you know besides this fact the government stop you even get free tongueans we've not been no use for paying property rates but the same people then i go say the city dot it but the same people then go say we are not woke but you get for no say government especially council na a social contract you the fitonians una for pay una part we the city council we for work for una and then we for report back to una what to be they do therein comes this question of the participatory budgeting so one of the things that we will decide for do as just to get people into this na be for let, this was 2020 na been covid time we will want to turn on and tell people and say by what we pass legislation at council say 20% of the money we raise now you now you word now only the people then for decide how for use them but then covid cap so instead of we do physical town hall we do digital town hall via whatsapp and we get across the city now we used to a pilot 15,000 15 million we just use them for test so that again don't show say impossible but i will tell you one of the challenges i know we can't have a challenge I possibly ask me say challenge. Are you able say um okay the well that quickly say the noise pollution. Noise pollution complex. Why? Because now we and Serum police and the the I, I think one of the big things we need to happen in this next administration when me the belief say there will be a change um at the central level is going to be for there to be harmonization of laws. because this lacuna gap naya over lapping of here and there it may come very chaotic you know in terms of the running of the city the person you tell me about beautification yes can be responsible for beautification in everybody's mind although there's no one in the act that says beautification but all I'm expecting is as 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 mayor what for beautifying the city okay. but you go na 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 so st john now you go see big big hole na the road so when it's said and put pole when they did they left it dot thing when they cut the are the bullet is small small no more small no 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 And I think I got to ask you this question. Siri, this idea of noise pollution don't come up. Not only in terms of top up top up top up, but in terms of religious houses. And then said I'm not saying the cause. For response to that, I want to ask you one question again. Maybe this could be a revenue honor. If you be mayor, you know, famous in Freetown, certain times of the day, who say get church them particularly but also most them. But kind of the park in the public streets. Mm-hmm. You're concerned for charge them for you that whole day. Then people are not supposed to go wash it. Now for all pass. Mm-hmm. But then you don't go park the block the streets for find them some money for the pay for park day. Yeah, because the reason is there comes to go the central government where they say that they act that they give ministerial position to Ministry of Land to so not even study environment or anything but land. That's not one thing. So they just they appoint. That's why I see. that they do the government say my only in free time they see that they appoint minister of health when i didn't get because because i get phd in the game position say a minister of health all in the city of santa so my oh, country your minister not about no i mean all in the, the, the i mean i talk about the health wise the city in iya becoming a army day for the free time not of like but with the, the ministry of lands because even all in free time you see them being five story church is a residential area because one then two parties here yeah? mm. the people when they give the minister of health so minister of lands minister of this people don't vote because again they love the country vote because they love the scholars so that's why uh, all this now the main thing with the disturb with city because then just the appoint because it's possible don't donate it but so it makes so so they may even think twice to give the positions then to the right people when they're supposed to go for one we can't choose for <laughs> That's another thing. Why some of the SSP and for Madam Aki for the tax when they talk about money, it was shocking for say the tax collectors they collect twice a day, one thousand in the morning, one thousand in the evening. And secondly, the market days. The market days because me I can go in disguise for the market places there. Not all man know me, so I always dress like OG, you know, wake up. go and mingle because they like for mingle with the low class people and at the slum and the market they go shock you back for say the market woman there or maybe you know you act like you don't know the market woman there and then they pay 3 3000 leos for clean them dirty back and then they pay 3 3 3000 leos for clean them dirty so you look at it 
then they pay 5,000 euros a day. So in, in that case, why you not just they make the... So that's the, 3,000 after the council or no. our internal arrangement? The council, yeah. that's why because the municipality is not doing their job. Because when they let do their job, the youth boys then, they get youth chairman, youth chairman, youth chairman. Now then they pay them 3,000 euros a day too. Once they pay the 3,000 euros, so now they didn't trash the citizens kind of the city. Because the municipality, they, they fail with. Because one, when they pay the youth chairman, then they pay the 3,000 euros. The youth chairman and the pay them the team over there. They say, as net can the current camp, they look at big gutter, then go dump the dirty inside. Now, so then big, big gutter, they also catch all them boku dirty. And because what you do, there is no follow up system when it comes to the Freetown City Council mayor. The thing is, yes, you have everything structural, educationally wise, but the groundwork is not there for Freetown City Council. The groundwork is not there. The councillors, they need a follow up. You have some councillors that don't even know what's going on in their community. They don't even know as they win, they move, they go west there. Then the market and they suffer. There's no public toilet places in these marketplaces. Where are they clean toilet? Where are they clean the market? You will shop send a black bag woman and they use for do their things. Yes, black bag. Now the other than they build my toilets back inside the market, the community leaders, eh? not the council. This will be the first market that Madam Sarah said and build. I wish she should have come to the east and renovate that money, renovate the eastern market today and put toilets there. We the first day and that the people already suffer at the east with the marketplaces there. There's so much. You short sales on the market. Now one day toilets again and then the chairman bill are back. Bombay markets, now the chairman bill. Dust cuts, zero, no market. Okay. We have nada, no market. No, no, no toilet. Sorry, it's under the door. I didn't come to you now. Not Hello. This, so, this is not fast. Sorry, Cassim, I'm not saying that just now. Yeah. So one of the things I want to let you tell me about. Hello? Wait, they talk about... Hello, let's, can I have one room, please? Hello? Sorry, we're talking about the issue of noise pollution in, in Freetown. And uh, as I've been saying, a lot of the questions that we come here get for the with that. Not only because of the noise we generate around, but also because of the religious houses. In what do you think about that? Well, um, as Madam C. did talk, the noise symbol could have been talk. <laughs> too much. <laughs> no sign on it at the street. So, when I, in fact. When the pass the street, let go to, let go to the top. I would hear in the university, you know, say, top up, top up. In fact, no sign on the way you're going to get, get like Your mic. Your mic. Your mic. Okay. Just like I hear you. Okay. okay. Yeah, carry on. You understand? Yeah. All sign on the street, so yeah. You know, it's in fact. The residential area, if a residential area, no, they get past the west end. You see, the east end, no residential, all sign of markets and noise. You see, all five o'clock people are away. So, you go fix this. <laughs> I go fix something. I mean, the thing about early morning noise, if you mean the one that go sell, now viability of the city around it. Maybe you need that. Then they grab, then they go inside motor cars, then they go. But then the points are particular about how you can the melt on the street. Then guard they all of the make them sharp, sharp, noisy things. That are, that's the point. They do make the religious they, houses. They, they make your body religious houses, back mass streets. Very easy. Now for find them, we go now. <coughs> other counties them now find the bill. They give ticket. When they give ticket, you go pay. You know we do it again. So it's, where you go, where you park your motor car, we say you're not supposed to park them. So the time when they come inside church, we come. You make ticket. You go pay. I believe that that is the next day no back and begin. If you want to worship outside, or you want to worship in any church, you will fence. If the church don't get car park, you will let you car that you So the person park and front of the church on the street gather them. No, so if you park and inside the church, on the church, yeah, on the street. Okay, now this you know suppose you go introduce that this now we're fine. Because again, at different counties there. Yeah, ticket. Okay, one question from the audience. Who does now you want to meet? Tell me one minute. Tell me what you want to meet. We only meet now. I mean, that's 
Put on him and why you choose them? Well, as for we very focused. I believe for me to be able to walk. We're very, very focused. And that's the best choose them. Thank you very much. Lillian? Yes. Do you want to talk about your own mates and why you choose them? Yeah. Put on your own mates. Your own mates are Asma Sukabia. Who are in a woman? A woman. Yeah, a woman and a nurse. Can we do that? It is the audience. No, it's not can because we get issues in our office. That's your office. Making on camp. And I know. Why you choose that? And I choose them because I believe say we will work with me. You're not sufficient. You're not 100 percent Yes. If in announcement case, I would not enter the council, we'll be able to work with people. And I make a choose them. So what do you think? How do you think so? I go work towards this noise pollution we're talking about. Well, the noise. Not many councillors in the community. Now they don't work that. But try to put a stop to that. Anybody where they meet the older now speaker, the other. So pop day, this day, they for older than you are. There you go, Thank you very much. So quickly, I'm going to ask you to come to the Quickly, and again, and again, one minute right of reply to Madam Akisoya, and then we will wrap up. We'll take the, the closing. I will not get time. Okay. So, um, and in reply to the point, say we're not for do go the first market before instead do renovations in the east. And I just want to say, as I mentioned, say we do nine market bids, and then bids and they still valid, and we and they go back. They will go back out for let we get partners. But besides that, on terms of the toilet, the process and our money. And I don't work on a, on a project way. Then he signed the contract now for 65 water kiosks and 15 public toilets. We're going to be built by the time we reach the end of this year. 15 public toilets. Concerning the water and market. So whether toilet, or not it be the next mayor. It will still happen, of course. It will still happen. So uh, uh, um, normally market, for example, we get 90 markets. In the last day, we signed for left water connection. Guma connect water to them. Lomina one. Well, left so assisting and not do one. Me personally, as 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 a stakeholder, because not to think this way, we really, I really believe say if I've done systematically, but because of that situation, they we don't go pay for let the water go along me and four other other markets, and I need wait now for let like, Guma to make the connection. Then challenge with the toilet is also the the water availability. So then 19 markets and all. No person they get they're not person they don't get toilet so now water not in the so no now we put toilet. now we put the, the water toilet in along I don't go there. As in a chairman and villa. It don't matter. It no, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't no, matter. It doesn't matter. Don't say it don't matter. It does. I mean, the toilet day. In this five years, we not construct any new toilet, but within the process now, we don't take this amount of time for build 15. And, and in, in addition to the 65, so, and if I can't account, so if no, I can't account, no toilets are built. No toilets are built, but no. we, because of, it takes time to raise that kind of money. We had COVID in between. Okay. So, we, so we don't get the funding, we don't sign the contract, and the toilets are going to be built. So it's happened. Okay, and wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, I forget. We build the Amaraya school, and actually, right now, going at Susan's base, six days we've just complete. So, you know, six, six, uh -huh, no, I don't say again. I don't remember. <laughs> but, 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 but wait, 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 we don't go past 100 minutes. So I'll give them two minutes each for wrap up and left on with them passing thoughts as to why you should vote for them. Yeah. All right? So two minutes each. Mr. So Keeper, I'll start with you, sir. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Two minutes. Okay. Let Ali say. I believe say we will be the <laughs> Best person to vote for. Mike. Okay. Me will be the best person to vote for for the mayorship of Kingston. 
Because freedom, and any I look at, I need some amount of discipline. For real, for put things in place, you need some amount of discipline. This is now one of the things we make this. In fact, this woman is talking about APC SLPP. No two ways about this. I make them to government here. Yeah. God will help you no more. <laughs> yeah. Because discipline, no day. APC come, then get the people in the favor. We're going to the markets. The markets people are, as you want to pull them in the next, only the vote for the next, then I didn't the balance. They don't understand. So it's discipline, no day. Trust me, you need to work like that. And me, I've been listening to one of the people that we have been listening to. I put me inside. Definitely. This one don't correct. This is the one. You don't understand. This one don't fall. This one don't fall. I'm not somebody very discipline. I don't talk no more. For me, I'm not somebody very. Anybody in the middle takes a this man when it comes to fall. To fall, they like make fall. But in discipline, I don't have a problem. Being a man of discipline. And free to need that kind of person. Yeah. Well, I'm not just one talk, so say if I talk just now, I just went to not join that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lilian. Yeah. Lilian. Yeah. I want to you pitch yourself to the audience, to the voters. <laughs> why they vote for you? Inside two minutes, tell them why they vote for you. Some people, I want to follow and vote for me. One. Just like I say, I get passion for business. And we, the woman then, I believe, say, with the struggle and marriage, those then, even though they were not married, but 90%, we now know they take care of food, say, for beginning. And by doing that, I go and build a marketplace, we picking them back from them, they will not get a job. I will make a way for them for them to get a job inside free time, yeah. Look, look who. Boys they working there and then and then uh, get us away, making a small push and so and because they don't get work. So now one thing that's where I get passion for where I want for let them come out of that when they left for the smoke. We go big way for the for let them get a job. So you know be saying they don't be they don't learn from land, but they don't get the, the opportunity for let them work. And so let me get opportunity for let them land. So they always go able to encourage them when they come out of that particular place they when they said be somebody. Yes. So do I want for them to vote me in? They want to see me go try more than Akisoya. Thank you very much. Uh even Akisoya pinch yourself. Why they vote for you for another five years? Continue. <laughs> Yes, um, because I get a plan, and I get a plan very comprehensive, where really they touch and address all the issues of the city. I get the competence, I get the passion, I get commitment to make a difference, and I don't make a difference. We talk about jobs. I don't create over 3,500 jobs. Most of my motto, they're real people. You talk about the challenge of the city. One thing may not come up at all, we really need to be conscious of rural urban migration. The population of the city don't explode. It don't explode. And the solution to that, not at the city level, not the national level, because investment needs to be made outside of Freetown. But at least if, if that be made, then Freetown forget the power for able for plan with urban space. The council need forget land use planning and building permit as a control, not only for the construction of residences and, and who say you go get residential zone, who say you go pull charge, who say you go pull charge, but also for protect the environment, we're very critical. One thing I think that I really get to touch on because people only refer to councillors, and so they don't know this for councillors. Councillors are not paid members of the government. Councillors are seen as policy makers when an allowance that they give them for attend council meeting. So, so much of waiting people they think, say the council produce so, the council produce so, we for no say, we didn't mix up with social contract because we did get a wrong understanding. And finally, uh, um, the the other the reason why I was saying is because in the last five years, I don't work under extremely challenging and difficult circumstances. Somebody asked, waiting on the most challenging moment. And say, not waiting on the most challenging moment, but waiting and find out that the most challenging aspect of the structure of local governance. And it will be this. 
that the core team, the one the way they call the core management at the council, know they be recruited by the council rather than they be recruited by the central government. So if you find yourself as in, in a different political party to the central government, then the one the way that they can put around you, when they send to you on transfer recruitment, actually might not they see the same side as you. We can really bring challenge in the working relationship. But that notwithstanding, five more to do more. I want to tell the book of the word is good for you in two minutes. That's why I come in as an independent candidate. Because whenever one party wins, they defeat the other party. Because they are rivals. And other than the sofa, are Fritonians. So as an independent candidate, I believe say. APC, we know, SAPP, we know, they watch me, does they see me come as an independent candidate. So they go ready for work with me. And secondly, we go for make changes, like they go for vote for me because why? We for do sanitation, both sanitation and the government, this, this city of Freetown. Marketplaces, toilet places there. Dustbin at every corner of the city of Freetown. Just like as I say, like, oh, bomb a day, so we don't need for mobile, so they do a landfill. They'll bring the converter system. Whereby if the police and to gas and gas up this whole city, let this blackouts they blow. That's another thing. That's another thing because blackout makes them call. Yeah. Then public toilets. We wanted the streets, they smell good. But if you watch the city of Fritz and public toilets and all day. Even if we never be in some area, we get that to the call portable body. That are toilets where they move. So now they even a job employment for people there. Eh? Whereby if you put on there, Somebody don't go left again that toilet, they don't pay 50 cents, go wait again as street. Because you can't tell them now, so no PC and that. Toilets not there. So we get for put toilets in the public places and at the old city of Freetown. Then we get for light up the city of Freetown. As far as I'm concerned, I don't light up over 20 communities there in the city of Freetown. Not just LED. I can name, go Facebook. And if you go, um, if you go Facebook, look for Sirica, but I'm not going to name all because of right now in two minutes. Sirica, but you look at you see everything on my work, what I've done. So with that case, I believe I mean at the right person as an independent because they, they play with the Fritonian people at school because they love them two parties and they would have them suffer the next. And I vote not only but the one and only civic, but this is not about the next election, but the next generation. We generations and they suffer too much. And then two parties are the little generations and they suffer big time. The beggar beggar bokuna still stay the call wine and then two parties. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. We really made my young youth, they call him um, Lamin Mansare, because I believe in the young shall grow. He's less than 35 years old. He's a nurse and very talented somebody. So I choose them because I believe in the young and I believe. I believe for give space to young people and for growth. So we run it, mate. Yeah. Hey. Thank you very much. I want to thank you. I will explain you later. I want, I want to wanna thank you. No, we're going to catch up. Lillian. No, we're going to catch up later. <laughs> Lillian Kamara of the REFP, Sire Kaba, an independent candidate, uh, Kasim Konte of the UDM, Yvonne Akisa of the APC. I want to wanna plenty thank you for all that joining us today for talk about what's on our plan for Donald Freetown. And I want to thank you to uh, all my way help for this program together. The Sierra Eye debates, where they be organized by Sierra Eye magazine and the uh, Il Raj, when I write space organization, sponsored by Mercury International, Officel, Vicky Romeo Company, and Star TV. I want to learn for now with this, with this young part in thought. Free town for being with all your business. We don't see them consistently, whether you get the same party in a state house, the same party in the council. There has always been friction. It's not a matter of one party being here and another being there. And I think this is what should make the difference. Let me look ourselves as one people and ensure that we move forward and one municipality. Whether the party in a state house may end up against the municipality or not, it's completely irrelevant. When I come together, put we laws them together, harmonize them, and pass them with the best intentions for this city and not with any political interest. Thank you very much for coming. I wish you all well. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, three, two, one. Uh.
Hello and welcome.